Is anything suspicious? Is anything suspicious? Huh? Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today I'm straightening my hair. Just a little bit. Minimally. The tiniest amount. I'm in Canada now. The humidity is low. It's super season. My sun press supposed to last a long time. But then I start to think about the maintenance, wrapping my hair night time. Yeah, the humidity is low outside, so the silk press supposed to last longer. But that also means that the air is dry, so that going to dry out my hair. And dry hair causes breakage. And do I really want to put my natural hair through all of that? So how can I have my cake and eat it too? We're gonna hack it. Cheat the system if you will. <laughs> Thank you for giving hair. Best believe I'm gonna be filming this video while this online class going on. Thank you for giving hair for sponsoring this video. this video is from the last sponsorship video I did where I got to try their kinky straight hair with the bangs I fell in love with how thick the unit was and how great the hair quality was that I'm like I know you have specializing curly hair but hear me out <laughs> silk for season so I'm going to show you today two realistic looking ways to cheat the silk press, okay? Because we want to give it our hair, just not with the inconvenience of it being our own natural hair. Hello, Viviana. Good morning. Good morning. So let's get this style going by first braiding up our hair. And don't worry, I am paying attention to the lecture while I'm doing this, okay? We can multitask. <laughs> so the first thing I'm doing is to take out my leave out. And uh, this is the hair that I will be straightening. Wait, did I even tell you guys what I'm going to be doing with my hair today? If I never say it before, <laughs> I will be wearing a wig i'll be doing two wigs so the first wig will be a v part wig and the second wig will be a three in one half wig so for both wigs i will need to leave out and straighten my own hair to really sell the delusion that i had silk press my own hair well <laughs> all of it <laughs> So my goal is really to leave out as little of my own hair as possible, but I don't want it to be too little amount of hair that the way for the wig is showing, okay? So I'm doing this little trick that I saw on TikTok where after I section out my own hair, I'm using the tail of the rat tail comb to test if my leave out is too thin. So I'm parting the leave out just thick enough so I'm not able to see the silver of the rat tail comb. Kind of cool, right? <laughs> and then I'm just going to flat twist that out of the way and do the exact same thing to the other side. Separate my leave out and then just test to see if it's thick enough. If I can still see the rat tail comb, it's too thin and I need to add more hair to my leave out and if i can't see the rat tail comb then it's perfect <laughs> perfect <laughs> and because this first wig is a v part wig i will be sectioning out my v part my thin u part and this is my final braiding pattern i did about um, how much one two three four eight ten it's like ten braids but the center braid i merged it into one at the middle 
so that prevented like a gap in the center of my head so that like a valley could be formed okay i don't know how else to explain it but i didn't want to, the wig to sink in the middle of my head maybe it was irrational but i didn't want that to happen anyways so if you want to wear the hair straight out of the box you can do that you should be fine but for me i decided to give the hair a shampoo condition and a nice silk press and when I say I silk press the hair, I do mean that I straighten the hair with my Taimo ring. And you can see the difference in the hair texture when it's freshly washed versus when it's pressed out. And this is why I fell in love with her giving hair kinky blow texture the thickness look at that the density like look how juicy it looks thickums the thick thick <laughs> silk press Ooh, look at it look at it so this is the thinner u part wig i'm gonna cut this I got a medium cap size. I'm kind of nervous about that decision. I think I should have got a small because I have so much leave out. Oh, wait, before I put it on my head. <laughs> Let me pin up the back of my head. So it has a comb at the back and two cones at the side and four clips at the, the thin U part. Let's attach the V section first, okay? So open the clips. I'm gonna attach that. And with all the clips clipped and all the combs attached, look how nice and flat this hair looks on my head. Like, I still think I could have gone with a size small cap, but look at this with minimal effort. So press. <laughs> so because the wig was a little too big for my head, I did end up making use of these adjustable straps that came on the wig. All right, let's finish up the look by straightening my own hair. Just a little red up. My hair is a little bit of I could dye this. I could dye it. I see it. Ooh. Okay, alright. Let's straighten it. Let's straighten my hair. I feel like I want to add a little more heat protectant. Just a little more. Alright. Make sure that it's thoroughly in there. I'm gonna use the same timer and I'm gonna put it on 390. I just love how her given hair colored this unit. The black flowing into the blonde. Like this hair would be perfect if you had straight black hair because then the black 
would just look like it's flowing into the blonde same like how the wig is actually designed you know what i mean and just like in my case my ends are blonde although i do have majority black hair it still does blend in really nicely with this color look at that girl hair <laughs> oh my lord that gray streak <laughs> Yo, let me tell you, knowing that I'm straightening my hair, but I'm not straightening my entire head of hair, it's just a good feeling. Like, it's literally the definition of having my cake and eating it too. And getting to straighten my hair without the full consequences of straightening my hair. But don't get me wrong, you know, it is possible, very possible, for me to damage my leave out. That is why I am applying my heat protectant and I am using a moderate temperature for my straightening comb. And as much as I love the ease of doing this, I'm not going to be doing it very often because I don't want to damage my leave out. And if I'm supposed to straighten my hair too often, that's going to damage my own natural hair. So, I'm still not going to be doing this too often. And after I've completely straightened out my leave out, I just brush my hair down to cover any trace of there even being a wig on my head. Good. Is that blending better? Can, can, you, can you tell? All right, wait. Let me tell you what I want to do to really sell it, all right? I'm gonna add a little bit of layers. It's just a color a bit awful. Oh my gosh, I should have dyed the hair, but I didn't. <laughs> behind my ears show hairline <laughs> what less what else oh so you could also just like pull the hair back like this and pin this back look at that isn't this cute so we don't have to wear the hair down the entire time with this V part wig oh look there this is a hairstyling clip, so don't be using this for fashion. But I'm just showing you, like, quickly that after doing this, another style I could do is like pin this up. <laughs> Look at that hairstyle. Throughout the day, I get hot. Oh, look there. I can pin it up. Nothing suspicious, and nothing suspicious. <laughs> Once you do the little comb trick to take out enough leave out, you'll be good. You will be good. Oh, yeah. Quick story time. So actually while wearing this wig, one day I got caught in the rain. So my own natural hair totally frizzed up. The end of my soap press. <laughs> it rained today. It was going so well. I mean the wigs are still flat because I had a hoodie, but the ends it's got wet but also take note of how much my hair frizzed up but how little the wig frizzed up i didn't even have to re-straighten it so instead of re-straightening my own natural hair all i did was to do this little twist up style and not have to re-straighten my own natural hair and i think it turned out really cute 
All right, I'm gonna take this off now and try the three-in-one half wig. All right, let's find my hair. Show you how easy this is to take off. Because I will be taking off the V-part wig at the end of the night, okay? So, just show you how easy it is to take off. So now the second way I'm going to show you how to possibly cheat a silk press is with the Her Given Hair 3-in-1 Half Wig. This wig comes with 4 combs and a drawstring. So when they call this a 3-in-1 Half Wig, they mean that this one wig can be used as a half wig, a ponytail and a headband wig. So here you can see how the kinky blowout texture looks when it's freshly washed and when it is straightened. Again, you can wear this wig in its kinky blowout texture. It's just my choice to straighten it. And also, you can get this 3-in-1 half wig with different curly textures as well. So with the Her Given Hair 3-in-1 half wig, it comes with what they call the invisible hairline. And that just means that right at the front of the wig, you don't see the weft, like this. There's no weft. So this invisible hairline makes the 3-in-1 half wig just a tad bit more versatile. I just attach and go. That's it. No crochet method required. Just attach and go. <laughs> so I could have done a lot more than just putting it on my head and straightening my hair with this. But I wanted to show two different ways of getting a similar look with two different wig construction. You get what I mean? Okay. So let's just put this on. Alright, so let's do the front comb first. Okay. Why? Why? The side comb next. Me! Okay! And I'm gonna pull my hair back for this. No part. Wow, okay, look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> Everything is perfect except for when you look right here and you're like, my hair, my colored hair. <laughs> oh, you know what I can do? I can buy like a temporary black dye and dye the ends of my hair. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just get like a black spray so that I can have the option of wearing the hair down like this without giving it away that something is suspicious. So I just added this black root touch up to my Amazon cart. I really wish I had purchased it before filming this video. But I'm planning to use this temporary hairspray to cover up my bleached ends for when I do decide to style and wear this half wig. And since this temporary hairspray is designed to even cover up grays, I'm pretty sure it will cover up my bleached ends.
I love the V part wig because you know it shows the scalp selling the illusion but for the three-in-one half wig just in case I fell for a 20 inch silk press but I didn't want to straighten my own natural hair any at all not even this little bit of leave-in look here so pretend I didn't straighten my hair any at all okay attach the front hold on no hold on hold on yes we know you can see this we can we know we know this is suspicious <laughs> so then all i'm gonna do is Add a headband. Look how I just turn this three and one half wig into a headband wig. And my own hair is fully protected. So if you're interested in getting any of these wigs, I'll be sure to leave the link down below in the description box for both the thinner part, U part wig, and the three-in-one half wig from Her Given Hair. Thank you again, Her Given Hair, for sponsoring this video and also sponsoring a giveaway. I will be selecting from the comment section one lucky subscriber to win one of these wigs, either the thinner parting you part wig or the three in one half wig you get to choose so enter the giveaway first you have to ensure that you are subscribed to my channel vip hair therapy follow me on instagram and lastly down in the comment section write i'm i'm looking for something for you to write <laughs> in the comment section write her given hair and let me know which one is your favorite wig. So I'm gonna assume that the one that you say is your favorite wig is a wig that you'd like to win. <laughs> and I'm going to check if you're subscribed here and if you're also following me on Instagram. Also, just for a little extra bonus points, you can share one of my photos or reels on your own story and tag me in your story so just go over on my Instagram pick any one of my reels or a photo and share it on your own story and tag me just simply add at Viv Hair Therapy and I'll see your story so yeah that's a little bonus but you don't have to but I'll appreciate it you know all right, beauties, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and give me a thumbs up if you did. If this one video did not, you know, persuade you to subscribe, that's all right. I have a lot more videos on this channel. I'll leave them up in the iCards. Well, I'll leave a few videos that I would personally suggest that I think you might actually like and, you know, might persuade you to subscribe and leave those videos up in the eye cards so you can watch more get more familiar with my channel and then after watching live one or two more of those videos you should realize by then that you actually enjoy the content here and it just makes sense you subscribe okay beauties thanks again for watching later